Welcome. Welcome to this talk on the broad crested weir overflow. A broad crested weir is a hydraulic structure with a flat crest that is significantly longer than the specific energy in such a way that the streamlines above the crest are parallel to the crest invert. In turn, the pressure distribution above the weir crest is basically hydrostatic. The following two photographs illustrate some prototype broad crested weir, first at the Chasselis Dam in France on the Gold Creek Dam spillway on its broad crest, early photograph at the beginning of the 20th century. In most prototype situations, the upstream flow conditions are subcritical. Critical flow conditions occur at the weir crest on the pressure distribution above the crest is hydrostatic when the crest is broad enough for the streamline to be parallel to the crest. Downstream of the weir, the flow is super critical in absence of downstream control. The flow above a broadcasted weir may be treated as a smooth on short transition, along which the continuity on Bernoulli principle apply, as shown here. When the streamlines are parallel to the crest invert, as shown in the sketch below, the pressure distribution above the crest are hydrostatic on the water that at the crest equal cubic root of Q square over G B square where B is the width of the roof channel. Assuming a smooth and short flow transition between the upstream reservoir and the weir crest, the relationship between the discharge and the upstream specific energy may be derived from the Bernoulli principle. In practice, the observed discharge differs from the ideal fluid flow equation because the pressure distribution on the crest might not be hydrostatic, the velocity distribution might not be uniform, while the weir geometry, invert roughness, and inflow condition affect the discharge characteristics. In practice, the relationship between discharge and head above crest is expressed in a modified form of the Bernoulli principle, shown here, in which CD is a dimensionless discharge coefficient. The dimensionless discharge coefficient is typically less than one on a broad crested weir. Its value might differ between different inflow conditions, discharges, and weir geometry. And it is closely linked to the streamline pattern above the weir crest. These two photographs illustrate the flow above a broad crested weir for a small discharge on a larger flow rate. For the same experiment, the following graph illustrates the longitudinal free surface profiles above the broad crested weir. These are physical measurements. In practice, the discharge coefficient CD is derived from physical observations. Typical observations of dimensionalized discharge coefficient are presented below for broad crested weir with rounded edges. The discharge coefficient is, in first approximation, a linear function of the head ratio, H1 over L crest. And this relationship is shown on the graph, together with experimental data. For large discharges, the discharge coefficient data are greater than unity, indicating that the weak crest is no more long enough for the streamlines to be parallel to the crest invert on the pressure distribution are not hydrostatic above the crest. The following movie shows the flow above a broad crested wheel with dye injection to visualize the streamlines. The broad crested wheel is a seminal application of the concept of subcritical and supercritical flow, as well as critical flow condition in open channels. These concepts are essential to the understanding of open channel hydraulics, and they are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist.